I'm going to make a loaf of bread today and um, we're going to do it in this machine. Um, the machine, a bread making machine, is uh, Cookworks and it's, uh, I got it from Argos. And believe it or not, the price of it was only twenty uh, twenty pounds. And um, anyway, we're going to test it today uh, to make a loaf and see how it comes out. So, first thing I'm going to do is take out the the bin and make sure I've got all the ingredients uh, in front of me. So we're going to have oil, obviously, some uh, yeast. Strong white flour, which is important, it must be strong white flour. Sugar, salt, uh, powdered milk, uh, which I use. And of course, you've got your measuring instruments, the wee cup and spoon. It all goes into this uh, bucket here and uh, make sure that the paddle uh, is in the bucket before you start. Uh, uh, because if you don't, then you need to empty everything back out again, start all over. So, let's go on with this. First thing we're going to do is get the water. Uh, so the water, for the water we need 250 mils of water in the cup here, so that's the first thing. The next thing we want to do is get the sugar, which is this one. Okay. And how much sugar do we need? We need one and a half tablespoons. So, on this measuring here is a tablespoon, the big one, so that's one and a half. It's just about there. Okay, try and get your measurements as close as possible. All right, so that's the sugar out of the way. Now, the next thing we need is the salt, which we're going to put in, and it's three quarters of a teaspoon. So I'll just check that you're seeing this okay, yep. So, three quarters. It's just about there, okay. That's that in. The next thing we want to put in is the dry milk powder, which is one and a half tablespoons. That's this one. So, again, make sure it's fairly level. Into the bin it goes, and a half, that's just about half, okay, and lastly we want to put in there is the oil, um, for the oil we want, how much oil we need, the one and a half tablespoons, okay, so, uh, again, Measuring one, okay, and a half. That's just about half there. So that's that part of it done. Let's let you see how it looks inside. Okay, and put a lid back on the oil. The next thing we're looking at is the flour. Um, we have two and three quarter cups of the flour to go in. So this is a strong white bread flour I'm using. So I'll do that just now. Make sure you level off the tops. It's quite difficult to do it. You get the idea, okay? That's the first one going in. Okay. Gets a little bit messy. This does, so just keep pushing the flour into it. And it'll take away any uh, pockets that might be in it. Okay. It seems reasonable enough. That's the next one going in. Now we want three quarters of a cup. It's roughly about, say, about three quarters of a cup. Okay, that goes in. 
Now one of the other things um, I should mention here at this stage is um, the yeast. When people are making bread in these machines, um, it can in actual fact go wrong. And where people get it to go wrong, or the mistake basically is down to when they put the yeast in. Um, some people when they put the yeast in, it uh, touches uh, the water, or the liquids should I say, and uh, that kind of kills it off. So it's important that if you look in there, you will see that the flour is all on the top, that the yeast also goes on top and doesn't touch any of the liquid. I'll try to avoid it anyway, alright? And this way, uh, I, I usually make a little pocket like that, you see? Uh, there you go, a little pocket like that. And I'll put my yeast into the little pocket. So I'm just going to do it just now. What we do for the yeast is we use one and a third teaspoons, okay? So that's one. And as you can see there in a little pocket. And we're looking for a third. So try not to overdo it because if you put too much then you end up uh, with the bread rising through the top of the machine uh, catches on the lid I think that should be enough to put a wee bit too much in there um, so I'll just put that back in if I can't if not don't worry about it and that basically is all the ingredients that we've put in there which was the water sugar oil milk that's the dry powder milk salt uh, bread flour and dry yeast so the next thing we're going to do is put it just check you can see it's okay let's put it into the machine just hold up a lot for you uh, so it's in the machine now and make sure it's locked in place close the lid here on the front of this one here we have basic settings so we're just doing the basic loaf just now which is number one so it's got a number one in the top there I don't know if you can see that or not and with number one we want the colour dark for the crust, so we press that, that's it dark. Uh, it's going to take 2 or 50 minutes, now we can actually do a loaf a lot quicker, but this is the one I'm going to use just now. Large, and I'm going to press start. And right away, as you can hear, it's starting to mix the ingredient. So, I'll just let you see how that's, you can see it in there just now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come back to that. Um, probably about halfway through and I'll let you see how it's getting on, okay? Okay, with the um, loaf that we've put in, uh, the basic white bread, so it's a 1.5 pound loaf for baking just now, um, which is large on this machine. Uh, it's got one, min one hour 38 minutes left to go. Um, I'll let you kind of just have a peek inside as to how the dough's looking, but I've got to watch because there is a uh, heat generated inside the machine and at the moment uh, I don't want to uh, interfere with that so we'll come back uh, a little bit later and see how it's getting on okay the cook work uh, cook works a uh, bread maker is now ready um, we're now going to open the lid it's taking two hours and 50 minutes that there is the loaf that you see still pretty warm in there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put it on this board so we'll see how it looks and I pull it out just get this ready to lift it out now <clears throat> what you've got to do with this is you've got to lift the pan shake it upside down and the bread will fall out and uh, we'll see how it goes from there one of the things that's concerning me is I do believe that I may have uh, forgotten to put sugar in it but we'll check it out in the video as I play it back so let's get this out okay. and you'll notice in the rear that the little paddle is stuck in the bottom which we'll get out in a second or two 
But that, folks, is how the loaf actually looks. Looks not too bad at all. Um, we'll dig the paddle out. We'll do that just now. Use a spoon for that, so it's a lot easier with a spoon. Uh, just put it underneath, lift it up, take hold. Just be careful because it is extremely warm. Okay, just lift it out. It doesn't damage the bread in any way, just drop it back in the pan. That's it, and there you go. You got a little hole in the bottom there, but that's fine. And the smell, well, it's uh, very inviting to be honest because it's um, it just wants to be eaten. Uh, and that loaf is a one and a half pound loaf and it's made on the Cookworks from Argos. Price £20, can't go wrong to be honest. Uh, it's a great bargain and uh, that's the inside of it now. Just got to clean the little pan out before you use it again. And uh, the, on this uh, cookworks, there are various settings that you can use. You can do pizza doughs and all sorts of stuff with it. And uh, well, great value for money for twenty pounds. Really can't go wrong. So, and there's your results. And uh, thanks for watching.